Now we're going to see what happens when we lose the hydraulic system. Now this is going to be a more of a major failure because the hydraulic system is what really controls the aircraft. Um, all the control surfaces, like if I bring up the hydraulics now, you can see we've got the, we've got green, blue and yellow. We always make sure those reservoirs are topped up and the pressure is good and they're controlling all of our control surfaces you know what's what's moving the elevators and the spoilers and all that kind of stuff so uh yeah uh nafraz is pilot flying for this one right now autopilot's on so um yeah uh what we're gonna do is we are now going to uh just try to demonstrate uh one of these failures ah oh, just when you think you're going to reach the maldives okay master caution master warning master caution Okay, so we still have auto trust. We still have flight directors. All right, just keep stable. But let's let's just level out. Let's just level off for now. Okay, I'm pushing to level off for you. Actually, auto yeah, autopilot's off. So I'm push level off. So just follow the flight directors, now for us. Sure. And uh, yeah, so we still have the flight directors. We still got the speed, and you have control. I have control. All right. Okay, you uh, you have control. I've got communication, and I'm going to do the e cam actions now. All right. So, auto flight, autopilot off, uh, hydraulic green plus yellow system, low pressure. So if you look at the, and it automatically brought up the hydraulic screen. As you can see, the reservoirs, we've lost the hydraulic liquid. There's no liquid in the hydraulic uh, reservoirs. So, so that's why those hydraulic pumps have basically failed, so to speak, you know, uh, due to low pressure, or they've shut off due to low pressure, all right? PTU off. So come up here on the hydraulic panel. Hydraulics, PTU off. All right. Then we come over here. Green engine one pump off. All right. Come up here again. Hydraulics, green engine one pump off. All right. And then yellow engine two pump off. All right. So come again up on the hydraulics. My neck. Yellow off. All right. Come back down again. And now it says maneuver with care. Uh, okay, I'm gonna clear that. Clear that as well. All right, maneuver with care. Flight controls, alternate law, protection lost, maximum speed 320. All right, we're well below 320, so we're safe uh, for, for now. All right, and uh, it says land ASAP in red, which means land as soon as possible. Wheels on the wheel page, so if I clear this, now it's going to be secondary items, land this up in red. On the wheels, as you can see, we've lost the nose wheel steering, we've lost the anti-skid, we've lost normal braking, which is which is operated by the uh, blue, uh, green system, and the alternate braking from the yellow system as well. So we only have what is in the accumulator. That's all we have left, all right? So uh, no pressure, <laughs> all right. And we don't have the auto brakes yeah. because they're all hydraulically op operated by the green and yellow system. Okay, now I'm gonna clear that. Flight controls. We have lost spoilers one, two, four, and five. So we only have number three that's gonna pop out when we right. land. So our braking speed, our braking is impaired. Right. All right. Uh, we've got the gr we've lost the green system, and we've lost the uh, yeah we've lost the green system for the ailerons and the green system for the elevators as well as the rudder. Now, fortunately, the blue electrical system has kicked in and is providing pressure, but it's obviously not gonna be enough for everything. So, yeah, that's uh, that's basically what we're going through. So I'll clear the flight controls. Yep, there. All right, now, status. Woo it's a long one. In the meantime, let's turn around, take us back to 040, back towards the airport. And, uh, let me try the auto, no, no autopilot, sorry. It's all on auto now for us now. All right, 2000 and set. Okay, your controls? My controls. All right, cool. I'll continue with the status, all right? The speed, maximum speed 320, all mark decimal 77, very good there. Maximum brake pressure should be 1000 PSI. So when we land, when you apply the brakes, yeah. you should make sure that this needle doesn't exceed 1000. All right, so don't push them all the way in just squeeze them gently okay. until it's just say 1,000 psi maximum yeah. because we have to conserve okay. Because the energy we have in this right. all right next thing is uh, for landing use flaps 3 which I'm going to 
do right there okay. all right and uh, GPW is flat mode off I've done that as well and uh, when configuration 3 and VAPP landing gear gravity extension so we can't load the landing gear via the landing gear lever we're gonna have to use the gravity gear extension this guy over here okay which I will do for you later um, approach speed V ref plus 25 we're gonna be fast today okay landing distance procedures apply and alternate law protection loss direct uh, when landing gear down we'll go to direct law uh, brake yellow accumulator pressure only so we only this is all the brakes we have left okay. we have to make sure we conserve it when we are doing our yeah. braking all right uh, slats will be slow to deploy all right the inoperative systems are the green plus yellow hydraulics flight control protection stabilizer reverser one oh we don't have reverses either <laughs> spoilers one two four and five flaps your damper autopilot one plus two cat two anti-skid nose wheel steering normal brakes auto brakes <gasps> landing gear retract cargo door the green engine one pump and the yellow engine two pump they're all gone so basically we've lost everything but everything except the two wings and two engines on our <laughs> on our aircraft remove status okay all right so now i'm gonna program in a flight plan to bring us back in so let me go secondary flight plan and i'm going to activate it and then I'm going to sequence us to the final approach fix as well. And now we're just going to go 30 degrees to the left. I'm going to bring the thing on, set the Q and H for you as well. 1009, 1009 on both sides. And uh, just doing the hat now. We've got that set there. Uh, VCBI 22, very nice. Uh, performance Cat 3 landing. All right, all parameters are in there as well. Fuel prediction is looking good. And uh, secondary flat line copy active. And that's done, Mr. Nafras. All yep. is well. There is gonna be no auto brakes because we don't have them. And there will be no reverses, okay? So, and, and we just crossed below 10,000, so I'm gonna do my 10,000 checks. All good? Okay. All right. So now it's just getting down and uh, coming in for landing all right so given the situation um, I'll be doing the landing today okay yep. so once we come over close to the airport I will take over from you and we'll land the sure. aircraft all right glide slope GS blue so guys what we've done now is we actually requested for a nice long final approach a nice long straight in so that we have the time to get the aircraft nicely set up and configure because the flaps are going to move really really slowly so uh, that's why we requested and opted for a nice straight in approach I've got lock star so from this point on we're about 22.4 miles away from the airport I'm lining up with the runway now and uh, Nafraz as briefed when I when I request for landing gear down you're going to pull the lever down yes. but it's not going to go down then you're going to have to get the landing gear lever up and yep. then turn clockwise three times okay yep. so that's the procedure we're going to have to follow to get the landing gear down and then we're going to watch for three green yep. at the same time uh the pressure all right whenever when we land as i'm applying brakes let me know if i'm applying lock by the way uh, let, let me know if I'm exceeding 1000 psi all right just say brake pressure okay. and then I'll ease off on it okay just to make sure we don't uh, we don't lose what I'm gonna try to do is our speed so if we bring up the uh, if we bring up the status page again it must have said something about speed so V ref plus 25 so you see there's 144 here okay let's add 25 to that and then put it in so 144 plus 25 would be 179, I think. 169. Whoever said pilots are good in maths. <laughs> 169. Let's yeah. Let's let's put 169 in there, please. 169. Thank you. All right. So that's going to be our landing speed. Um, by the way, just wanted to make a little announcement. We have. Um, we have launched memberships on our channel as well so if you look in, if you're looking at this video you'll see a little join button over there and we kind of set it for ten dollars a month 
So this is not this is nothing mandatory. You, you're you're not um, you're, you're not required to do it, but it would really help us a lot uh, to maintain our simulator to keep the costs of everything we do. Uh, if you want it to be a membership, and it does come with a few perks that you can check out um, in the membership area. So if you want to be a member and you want to support the channel, um, you know what, you can go ahead and click that join button. And for those of you who are subscribed and, and have been part of our channel for so long. Thank you so much. I have one of them sitting with me right now. You could be like Nafraz. Be like Nafraz. Subscribe. All right, guys. Uh, now it's time for me to uh, <laughs> to uh, focus on what I'm supposed to be doing. All right. Um, give me flaps one, Nafraz. Speed check. Flaps one. There we go. And it looks like... All right. The flaps are not going to move. Okay. Because there's no hydraulics. It's not enough to move the actual flaps, it's only going to move the slats. Okay, remove status please. Every time we change configuration, the status page is going to come back up again. So you'll just have to remove it, no change. You just check if there's any changes and then you just remove it. Runway's in sight, so that's good. Uh, fortunately, it's quiet on the traffic today and we actually have live traffic going on. So, uh, yeah. Glide slopes alive, give me flaps too, please. Plus two. All right, so that's going to give us slats two. Glide slope star. Go around altitude in Colombo is 2000, so it's already set. Perfect. Very nicely done. Glide slope star. All right, and uh, give me flaps three. Hey, check. Flaps three. All right, now please go selected speed 169. Mindset. Checked. All right. Okay, we're committing to the landing. There's the runway. <sighs> cat three. Okay, landing. Cat three. All set. Okay, now for us, gear down, please. One, two. There you go. Gear down. Gears coming out. All right. We're looking for three green lights. And we should get a warning message soon telling me that one that we are in direct log. Clear. I controlled it log. Check. Clear that. Yeah. Clear it. Clear it. Remove status as well. 1000. Checked. All right. So I'm slightly low on that. All right. Speed is good. Gears down. Three green. You may arm the spoilers and give me the landing checklist, please. Landing checklist. You can memo. Uh, is uh, landing no blue? Check. Check is complete. So, one thing also you keep in mind the doors are open. Yeah. All right. Five, five, Too low terrain. All right. Switch off the terrain GPS. Too please. low terrain. Thank you. So. Land. Three hundred. All right. Door. Hundred above. Okay. Slightly low. Correcting. Checked. Minimum. Okay, I'm bringing the power back to idle now. Think rate. Just Pull out. Disregard. 40, 30, we're, we're fast. 20, retard. 5. Alright. I'm literally pulling the side stick up, trying to keep the nose up just to help us bleed off that extra speed. Ready. <laughs> I'm not exceeding thousand psi, am I? Good, no, 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 no. good, 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 good. good. Seventeen. Check. <laughs> there comes the end of the runway. All right. Okay. On the brakes. Hopefully, we still have accumulator pressure. How's the accumulator pressure then? Oh, good. good. Full. Okay. Oh. All right. Good job, Captain. Oh, thank you. Uh, but I'm holding down on the brakes, nothing's happening. I think the accumulator pressure is not quite working, so I'm literally squeezing the brakes, nothing's happening. Alright, we've lost all the pressure in the in the brakes, in the accumulator. 
So uh, let's get the parking brake on. See if that's gonna help. It's not gonna. It's yeah. It's not gonna help because it's it's not gonna. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't have steering as well. We only have nose wheel steering. But the aircraft is rolling very slowly. So yeah, should be okay. We should come to a stop eventually. Or we'll taxi to the grass. Oh, we could <laughs> taxi stopping. into the grass as well. But what we could do is, yeah, we can use we can use friction to help stop the aircraft. Uh, in fact, what we're going to do is shut down engine number one, please. There we go. And uh, yeah, sh shut down number two as well. Yeah. Because the engines have idle thrust, so that will still keep us moving. And look, now we've stopped. So now we can get the ground crew to come and give us chocks and uh, you can even start the APU actually, that should help us out with the electricity. Yeah, we could start up a free service. Excellent!